Hey, this is Mike from Cornerstone. I just want to uh, spend a little time with you on sharing uh, today's moment. Um, this really goes back to when I was in junior high school, and I really got to open up and tell you a little bit about my father. Uh, my dad was a great dad. Um, I'm the oldest of four boys. Uh, my parents were always active in our life. Um, they came to all our games. They came, we sang. They came to all our concerts. Um, they were always engaged. Um, taught us a lot about responsibility, which gave us a lot of freedom later. Um, so uh, he was a great dad. Yep, there's a picture of me uh, when I was little. I was a cute little thing. When I was chubby too, but I was a cute little thing back then. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this goes back to when I was in junior high, and I played. And yeah, there was a junior high. They didn't have middle school back then. We had junior high, and we from seventh to ninth grade. And uh, we actually had varsity and junior varsity teams that I played on the varsity basketball team. And I was a starter. And, uh, um, and I was the assist king. Okay, I never shot. Uh, ball would come to me. I'd feed it, give everybody the chance to shoot um, baskets and score. And I um, was good at rebounding. I was a tall guy. Um, so I learned all those skills. Um, and I remember one game, and we got to the end of the first quarter. And again, you got to know my dad. What he was saying was not harsh. What he was saying was instructive. And he came around and he, he kind of leaned over and he, you know how the benches would, they were just chairs in front of the, the um, bleachers that would go up behind us. And he came back and he leaned in my ear and he said, he said um, Mike, you're, you're not going to score unless you shoot. Okay. I said, okay, no, okay, Dad. I get it, I get it. And um, uh, so we went into the second second um, period. Got done with the second period, came out, it was halftime, I'm sitting there. And then my dad opened up with boy. Now, if my dad opened up with boy, I really need to pay attention. <laughs> and he leaned over my ear and he said, boy, play ball or get off the court. And he sat back, that's all he had to say. Um, and one away. Now, those two phrases stuck with me the rest of my life. And I want you to know that I started shooting, I scored nine points that second half, and that was the beginning of my quite successful high school basketball career. Uh, I was high scorer in both my junior and senior years in high school. Um, Anyway, so those phrases really stuck with me you know, just throughout my career. Um, and uh, you know, play ball, get off the court. Mike, you're not going to score unless you're going to shoot. And I really think that those phrases were necessary for me because um, I have this, this thing of I don't want to impose. Okay, And that feeling of not wanting to impose kind of hinders me a little bit. And uh, uh, we talk about in our, in our uh, business development classes about um, whether you're a type one, type two, type three, type four business developer. Um, I really rode in the type three world for a very, very long time. A lot of it was because I wasn't willing to push and bring that to bring the opportunity to closure, I guess is the right way of saying it. Uh, I remember another friend who, uh, she, she was in marketing and uh, she went into the federal government. When I was writing my book, I finished my book and she said, Mike, this is good. This is what you need to do, blah, 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 blah. She was giving me all these great things to do. And I started to get this little nerve, nervousness start to build up inside me. And I said, I really have a hard time, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm selling myself or um, imposing um, and uh, uh, promoting, there's the right word. I, have, I really struggle with promoting myself. And uh, she kind of looked at me, she said, Mike, get over yourself. <laughs> I, I walked away, I was like deflated. And then that phrase came back to my head. Play ball, get off the court. Mike, you're not going to score unless you shoot. And um, those, I'm telling you, those were, those were meaningful to me. And I'm beginning to see and taste the success of playing ball. I'm tasting the success of shooting. I'm tasting the success of get over yourself. Um, just take the moment this week and just think about those things that hinder you, um, things that you could be enjoying. Um, they could be personal, professional, uh, relational. You know, play ball, get off the court, you know, go taste what's good out there. And uh, thanks for listening to me today. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye.